Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to 4 Minute Film School. I'm Ted with the A-Team. Today I'm here with Emma Cragen. Emma Cragen's a DP that just came back from Antarctica from shooting a documentary. She shot commercials with Bob Saget and Lyft, and today she's here to talk to us about six different methods for hiding lights when lighting the water. This is something that you guys want to hear from us. So the first method for hiding lights when lighting your water, what is that? So the first method would be using your frame lines. Cool. Kind of just being familiar with where is the top of your frame line, where's the bottom of your frame line, and if pertinent, your left and right if you're not doing any crazy 360 moves. Yeah. The first thing that we used when we did our example is we had an off-camera practical. Okay. So even though you couldn't see where the practical was coming from, because the scenario had you in the bed and the light is tungsten, you infer that it's coming from some kind of reading light, floor light, some kind of off-camera source. Gotcha. And because we knew where the frame line was, we could easily rig from above without ever seeing the light. So our next method, we used a softbox as a key. And what we did was we moved the softbox with you while you were tracking, and that kind of served as an ambient moonlight since our next part of the scene was kind of more of an outdoor foliage type of feel. By moving the stand along with you, this allowed us the versatility of never seeing the light and it gave us a continuous feeling of moonlight and you could apply this to any kind of situation. You could use this for an interior, you could use this for an exterior, yeah. ideally if you're cordless. Now the ambient glow is important because if it's a hard light, you're gonna be casting shadows and if you see the light moving, that's not really natural, right? Exactly, and that's exactly. gonna kind of be a tell. So our third method of kind of hiding lights, what would that be? So what we also did is we hid lights in the frame. What we did is we took small LED panels and we placed them behind the foliage that was behind you to create separation between the background. So that's literally hiding lights in the frame. Exactly. Cool, yeah. So this is working closely with your production designer to make sure you don't have any translucent type of yeah. material that you might be trying to hide behind. Yeah. But at the same time, kind of optimizing what you do have right in front of the viewer's eyes. So the next thing we did is we used a flashlight with a white card to give a return for your face and that became your key. And in this case, the light is in the frame then. Yeah, so this actually is using the actor essentially as carrying their own key and you could use that with a lantern, any kind of tablet. Lighter, a tablet, a phone, a cell phone, flashlight. Exactly. And by having the grip walk with the white card, in the same way that we did with the softbox, you're moving with your source, so yeah. it's never visible in the frame. So you said it was a bounce card, right? Are there any other methods that you can kind of bounce it back? Yeah, well, something that I've actually done is I've had crew yeah. wear white. Oh, okay. And that is kind of gives you a walking A walking B4, bounce card. Which yeah. works really well outside too if you just want a little return or yeah. if you're in a, a close proximity where maybe you can't fit something in. Um, so our next method of kind of hiding lights, what would that be? So what we did in our scenario was we had the luxury of using flats, yeah. but even if you didn't have flats, you could use corners as a method of hiding lights. Cool. So again, just knowing where your blind corners are going to be. Mm -hmm. So as we came around the flat, we had a whole section behind us where we could essentially have a sodium vapor light yeah. that was kind of throwing a street light essentially onto you, yeah. and we would never see it because the wall was blocking it. If you don't have walls, how would you fake a wall? You can have curtains. Curtains. Um, again, working with your production designer to bring in some kind of fake wall in that regard. Yeah. Anything large, yeah. but kind of tall, or giving you just a little bit of real estate to work around, you can rig things from on top of, behind of. And our last method of kind of hiding lights, what would that be? So we optimized the dark space. So we used fall off to yeah. hide our final light. We actually were lucky enough to have a black stand, okay. but if you didn't, you could also drape it in duvetine to ensure that it doesn't give you any kickback. Because these stands are shiny and they're yeah. Yeah. And so we kind of just used the fall off to direct your focus and only light a designated area.
those are your six tips on how to hide lights for lighting the water. Uh, thanks for watching this episode of 4-Minute Film School. This is Emma Cragen. Uh, leave us a comment below with a lighting scenario that you would like to see us tackle next. In addition to that, we'll be picking the best comment and giving out a Aperture M9. So uh, like, subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time.